Hey guys, Chaos, we're coming to you not live, but pre-recorded from sunny Florida. And today we are going to make something a little fancy, so to speak. So as you can see, I have some pineapples. You know, Kevin Hart safety word, pineapples. Right here. Some oil, obviously. Got some soy sauce. And a few other spices and herbs and stuff. Some ginger, paprika. The ginger actually cost me a good four bucks and change. Uh, Walmart, you really need to stock up on your floor. Uh, but today we're going to make teriyaki pineapple chicken with. With coconut raisin rice. That's right. So let's get started. First, the preparation. Now, as you can see here, I got a pot with some rice in it. And as per the directions of Mom Harris, the person who gave me an idea about coconut rice, and she makes coconut rice all the time, I'm going to take the coconut milk and pour it in. And let's see, I believe, let's double check something real quick, because who will usually never stitch wrong. But in the meantime, while I'm checking that, let me get the raisins, because that's kind of obvious. She mentioned with raisins. So I'm going to put some of these raisins in there. Shake those in there. If my hands are ashy, that's because I just washed my hands. We don't do that whole walking inside the house without, well, even though we're in a condo. You know, very fancy condo, by the way, which I, I have ownership of, you know, inheritance, black privilege. I don't talk about that much. That's hashtag black privilege out there. But um, back to what I was talking about, we don't, we don't just come in with unwashed hands. So let me check something real quick. See if there needs to be any water added to this. Let's see, let's see. Yes, two cups of water. And we need sugar. So I'm going to put the two cups of water first, which, let's see where the measuring cups are at. Probably not in here. Top here. Little cup right here. This is about eight ounces. A cup is four ounces. So we're going to use one. Put this in here. We're going to use nigger measurements. Find the spoon. No, I told you, don't burn up so hot. I'm not. The recipe didn't say to add water, so I added some water. This is just that was mommy dearest. Obviously, she want me to burn her pots and pans, cause then I won't be alive to do any more cooking shows. Should add a few more raisins to this rice. Let's test something out real quick. Ah. That's accurate. What? Put some sugar down in that rice. We're not doing coconut flakes, obviously. To add a little bit more water to this rice, though. Okay. And then we put it on for
high boil. Let's stir it up a little bit more. And we're gonna let that stir for a while to get some nice good consistency and a slight bit more coconut milk right there. And I just dropped the spoon. Looks like we're going fishing today as well, huh? You thought I was gonna put my hand down in there. That would be unsanitary. So we're gonna let that stir. And now we're gonna focus on the chicken and the sauce. Okay, so the next ingredients, we have to put the pineapple juice, which I'm already drained, obviously. Wow, I'm a little close. Let's see if we can move the camera back a little bit. We don't have a camera person. We don't have a camera monkey today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take pineapple juice. How much water do we need? We need half a cup of water. So we're gonna take that. And that is right there. Half a cup of water. See if we can drain any more of this pineapple juice into there. Yes, we were able to. Now, what else we're gonna put? We're going to let's see. We're going by the well, recipe that Chef has. I plan on putting this bowl. I don't know. If you put my, uh, if my ladies and gentlemen, joining us on the cooking show here, yeah, is my grandmother right here. If yeah, that bowl is not microwavable, I'm not microwaving that. I'm just mixing stuff in the bowl. Right, you're trying see. to cook, don't know some shit. <laughs> hey. Yes, you can't be telling my peoples that. You can't be telling my peoples that. They need to think I'm a master chef. You can't be, you can't be telling my peoples that. This is episode three of yeah. Cooking with Chaos. And we're here in lavish Kissimmee, Florida. And we're preparing honey, pineapple, and stir fried chicken. Her of course, we have yet to cook in the uh, fish and chaos kitchen. Tell your grandma you say you're gonna have it ready when she gets back. Yeah. I'm not gonna yeah. eat it. Well, hey, somebody gonna eat it. It's gonna be you. I ain't gonna eat it. It will only be one meal prepared in this house. I'm not against it. Anyway, back to back to the instructions. After he finished and eat, finished cooking and throw it up the, the throw it off the balcony. Yeah. The alligator gonna come and eat his ass for trying to poison. No, see, the, the alligator had enough of them little toddlers, so they ain't coming to eat me. All right, so let's see. We gonna add flour. Don't you need my cookies? We need two tablespoons of flour, so we're about to open up this pack of flour right here. It's only a dollar and seven cents at Walmart. This is it now, Pokemon Avenue tonight. And. So we will, we're going to take one, right? Ladies and gentlemen, this is flour, not cocaine. We're going to put that in the bowl. Now, what else? What else? We need. The ingredients we need quarter cup of soy sauce. Move out the way. What are you doing in the way? You ain't cooking, right? You ain't cooking, get out the kitchen. Don't 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 mind him. Um he's a gender fluid. You're a gender fluid. <laughs> He's a gender fluid, don't mind him. No, he is. He's a gender fluid. He drinks a lot of fluid. He's power steering fluid. He's, he's motor oil. No. Okay. We need a quarter, quarter cup of soy sauce. Pour that in there. Okay, we need a quarter cup of honey. But see, yes, I highly doubt we're going to be able to mix this all, bring the pool honey 
and take it and pour it back into a, a bowl. We're gonna have to improvise. And we just have to squeeze some of the bowl. That's about a quarter cup. Well, we gotta use math now because half a cup is four ounces. So a quarter cup yes. would be two ounces. Um, so two, four, six, eight, ten. This is a 12 ounce bottle. I don't know. Was never good at math. Uh, got the half cup of water. We need half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of paprika. Half a teaspoon of ginger. And once we get all the ingredients together, then we will move on to the next step. So, let's put these in there. We got our paprika. We got next our McCormick garlic powder. Let's take this out. Quality seal. One time quality is better than quantity, right? And now the last thing is the ginger. I just spilled ginger on myself. And that's everything. Oh, smells like ginger beer. EG, that's my favorite. And we stir everything together. Should I taste it? Yes, because I have an extra spoon. So let's see if it comes out the way I think it should. Perfect. Actually, pretty good. So now that that's stirred, put that to the side. That's what we're cooking with. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to move our ingredients to the side here. And we're going to start working with the chicken. Of course, we're going to put some pineapples in there. Don't put that in my way of my sauce. Put some pineapples in that sauce. Also, let's check on the rice. Let's see how the rice is going. Not bad. Rice came out real good. We gotta let it stay there and tenderize it a little bit longer. And now that I've perfected the coconut rice, who wants a chicken? This one. Got the pineapple. Got the little sauce and that season that we made there. I might have to use the, the spoon to stir that in. Add the rest of that in there. I guess it's like a, a thick gravy that goes with it. So I'm gonna have to stir this in with the chicken. Let that cook. It says it's going to bring it to a simmer and a boil. So we're going to let that work up into a sauce. Might have to add a little bit more flour to make it thicker. But after that, I will show you the finished product. And it'll be chow time. The rice has gotten to a good consistency. As has the chicken. It has a nice brown to it. Sauce got nice and thicker. Pineapple is nice and hot. So, all this left now is put it on the plate. Now, as you sit by your somewhat nice looking patio view, you can enjoy your meal, which came out just as expected. With a little extra coconut pineapple accent. I don't know what's the best thing that. Coconut and pineapple could make maybe a pina colada. And this has been another adventurous episode of Cooking with Chaos. Bon appetit and bon voyage. <laughs>